Uh, Grigo and the three other dudes was following D Baby as soon as he came back into Houston. They said the guys came from San Antonio. They was on his tail because somebody already dropped the location because D Baby wasn't even supposed to be riding around like that. Once they pulled up at that gas station, the dude told him already, D-Baby said, do not pull over at this gas station. He told him to keep going because he wanted them to get out of that same neighborhood. He already knew that, that same car. They made three left turns and the car kept doing the same thing. And so as soon as that SUV pulled up and they came out of that gas station, that's when the dude identified him and it was three guys caught on surveillance jumping out with white t-shirts this is what they reported and the witnesses started ducking once they started recording it was blurry but they seen the guys running back into the car and you could hear the tire screech they ran down the street once they ran through the light it flashed because it caught the camera they have to track everything down because right now D baby, he's not in a condition to talk. We hope that he gets better and everything. But HPD, they on this right now because once the once you involve the rapper and the dudes from where they came from is a connection that was made to where they knew Grigo was the guy that was targeting D baby the whole entire time. The beef goes way back to before he got signed. A lot of people said that Grigo and D Baby were supposed to face off a long time ago, but D Baby told him that it wasn't going to be nothing like that. He wasn't going to be touched or nothing. So once he came back to Houston, and they they got the drop on him when they seen that same car, and they knew it was um, D Baby because the way that the tent was and the song that they was playing, they knew it was them. They could hear the bass. That's when they started spraying the whole block up. They It was holes all through the back door. That's where D-Baby was sitting at. And they, like, he started driving. The guy that was in the driver's seat got hit. They threw him to the passenger and they crawled over. They opened the door. Once he, once he rolled the window down, he seen them swerving, the guys in the white T-shirt. They started blowing at them with the thumper and everything like that. The guy in the back seat had a K, unfolded it. And he started dumping rounds into them. That's when the lug nut got hit and the tires blew out. That's why they really stopped at the gas station. They was riding for a long time on the highway. If you know anything about Houston, people ride through the highway and they cut through lanes and everything like that. So what ends up happening is that when they ran into the dude, they thought it was some road rage incident. Why is that dude following them? When Grigo started following them, they started going through their phone and everything trying to figure out, hey, is there, can we pull up at your house? Can we pull up at this person's house? Next thing you know, they started um, recording. They got a picture of the people on the highway, actually, of the whole entire incident that happened. The dash cam caught everything on it because D-Baby was in a Uber the whole entire time, and he shot back. He busted back and pulled up at the gas station because he ran out the whole clip. So they ran inside. Once they ran inside, the attendant told them that, hey, we're closed for the night. Y'all got to go because this is a, everything was about to close when this all happened. It was late at night. So as soon as they came into the gas station, the dude kicked them out. They ran back into the cars. That's when the guys cut the corner. They spotted them. They was trying to crank the car up, but it couldn't crank up because they just had that whole incident where they had to maneuver off the highway because they was riding around through the whole highway. Next thing you know, the dudes pop up out of nowhere. They had to get away quick. So D-Baby and them try to pull this move where they popped off on the exit and they got basically cornered into the gas station. That's when they try to make a getaway. They dumped out the car, left the two dudes behind, and basically, that's when the other the driver ran. D Baby and the other guy was the only ones that was left in the car. So this is why they are on the lookout for more than just the three guys. They're looking out for anybody else that was with D Baby because they want to see if he has information leading to the capture of the other dudes. And a lot of people don't want to talk. They backdoor D Baby. Number one, number two. D-Baby and them tried to stay out of that neighborhood, but the only reason they had to stop there is because they knew they had to hurry up and run up in there and come out. This is no coincidence, and then everybody know for a fact who they in tour with. D-Baby and them, they only keep they self 
Like, they keep themselves put up. They don't let people know what hotels they be going to. They don't even let people know when they doing their shows because you already know you have to be a specific person who close to them to even get backstage passes. Like, this is something we all can really pay close attention to because the forensic evidence showed that it was one dude who got hit up like six times and the other dude who tried to run in the gas station who hopped out of the car, he looked at the mirror he looked like, hold on, they, like, who's these dudes right here? They tried to walk behind the other car that was right there on the side of it. And as you guys can see on the picture, this is something that, this is going to go federal. A lot of people know the key evidence in this. This is something that we all can really take heed to. I want everyone to let me know. If you feel that this was a back door, put in the comment section because now the way they look at it is that D Baby and them, they were not the perpetrators. They said it was the other guys that started it. And a lot of people were wondering did D Baby even check in when he came back into Houston? This is where the area that they was in was already controlled by somebody else. They was on someone else's turf and they didn't check in. So the guys, a lot people thought D Baby was already from Houston. That's why he thought he didn't have to check in. But it's a controversy that was he born in San Antonio or was he actually from Houston? This is a big thing because a lot of people, if they born in San Antonio, they're going to have to check in when they come into Houston. This is the way it works, man. There's no way around it because Jay Prince Jr. and them said that this is the way that they have to check in. It's a whole process to it. Just like in L.A., just like in other major cities you go to, it's still dangerous for rappers. So with D-Baby and his peoples and his crew riding around like that, the way it all happened, it's a bad look because now you got to think about how how did they actually know to be in town to be looking for D-Baby when he was and how did they spot him? Like, you got to understand when the ops catch a lot of people lacking like that, people realize that somebody had to been working from the inside and you can't trust nobody. When you got a big entourage like D-Baby, a lot of people will be trying to drop the, you know, the poster of where the show is going to be at a few days early and the whole security team like they have to be on point because the guy should have spotted him in the rear view mirror if they would have already knew that somebody was following them they shouldn't have had to make three left turns it's no coincidence how Grigo walked in he asked them do you want to do you want me to do this for real they told him yeah we need you to go out there hop in that great charger and instantly you went man Hit up everybody that's out there with him because he shouldn't have never did. He shouldn't have never did what he did. What he, did, the way that they played it, they once they hopped in the car, they bogus for what they did. I hope the man get well. I hope D baby instantly get up out the hospital and instantly just get out the streets and move away. Once you get the bag, move out the hood. Grigo, he was the main one. He was the driver. Once he hopped in the car, he told them, come on, y'all, we finna do this regardless of what's going on. This is what made everybody in Houston look at it like, hold on, y'all ain't just do this to D-Baby. D-Baby was somebody that everybody looked up to. D-Baby had good music, and he used to actually be out there in the community taking care of his business. He wasn't out there in the streets like that. Exactly. They said...